Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done anything that's related to the T2i, but uh, it's been kind of hectic getting other stuff done lately, and uh, there had been some great news about our favorite camera. Now, the first bit of news came on, uh, well, it's been building over the last couple of months. And December 24th, uh, the good folks at Magic Lantern, which is a firmware development group, I don't even know if it's a real company or anything, that's just what they call it, uh, put together a firmware upgrade for the T2i that does pretty much everything that we've been complaining about the camera not doing in the first place. It, um, it allows for the uh, automatic gain control to be cut off, which is huge. It allows levels that can be set within the camera for audio, which is enormous. Um, in addition to that, we now have control over uh, ISO all the way from one end of the scale to the other, and we can set white balance in terms of degrees Kelvin rather than just the few choices that the camera was giving you to begin with. Now I'm going to go over all of the things that are available, or at least the ones I understand, in the Magic Lantern in another video. The other tidbit of news that came out today was another group has claimed that they're offering a firmware upgrade and it should come out on the first. We'll see. But uh, they're claiming that they can get uh, resolutions up to 4K out of this camera. Now, I know this camera's got a lot of capabilities that are not uh, released by Canon, but asking for 4K is a lot. So we'll see how that plays out. If it's for real, it, the, the options are 2K, 3K, and 4K. And if this is real, and I'll certainly keep you updated on what's going on with it, it's going to be a huge boon to filmmakers because uh, 2K and 3K are exactly the places we want to be when it comes to getting high quality resolution out of these little cameras. That's going to put our little movie machine in the realm of, of the Red Scarlet. And uh, I'm sure they don't want to hear that. But who knows? Is this for real? We'll see. Philip Bloom hasn't said one way or the other, even though he was uh, he was listening in or tuned in on the Ustream video that the, uh, the firmware developer held today, talking about the things that would be available. So uh, the buzz has been huge on all of the discussion boards about this. Like I said, we're going to know in a couple of days just how this is going to play out. Either way, big news for us that uh, love these little cameras. And uh, if it turns out to be a big deal, I'll certainly let you know. There will be some links down below to, uh, to, to cover, to, for you can look for all this stuff. Um, the main thing is, the one we know it's for real is the Magic Lantern software. So uh, in the next video, we're going to cover a lot of details about that. So uh, till you get your cameras all juiced up, just go out and keep shooting. You know how that works.